Hey everyone and welcome to another video. So today we're taking a look at LG OLED TVs and just their smart TVs in general. So anything that is running their webOS software, this video will apply to. And in particular, what we're looking at is app stores. So if you bring up the actual LG content store, this is LG's own sort of app store and you get everything from movies, TV shows. So you got along here, TV shows, movies, and then you come across to the app section. And in the app section, you can install a lot of sort of generic kind of apps. So you've got YouTube, Disney Plus, uh, Amazon, you'll have Apple TV Plus on there, various other ones. But there is no alternate app store that you can actually install your own apps. So for example, a lot of the people that are interested in IPTV, it's not really very helpful through the actual TV itself because a lot of these apps actually stop working and then support just kind of disappears. There is no real support for that. So in this particular video, what I'm doing is giving you a way to install an alternative app store or if you like jailbreak your LG OLED TV. And like I say, I'm, I'm, I've got a LG C9, but this will apply to probably other LG TVs running webOS as well. So in order to do this, you need to navigate to this particular website. So it's https colon forward slash forward slash root my dot TV. Once you're here, then what you do is this will work if you have a magic remote. And what you want to do, let me just make sure that's still in focus. Uh, what you want to do is press the middle button and drag this slider across. Now I've already done this, but basically what will happen is once you drag it across, you'll get a little prompt. The prompt will then ask you whether you want to install. And once you've done that, your TV will reboot and then you'll be presented with home brew. So this is basically what it will install. And this, if you look at it, is essentially a second um, or a alternate app store if you like and you can come here and you can install your your own apps depending on what you're looking for so the main one that i've seen people really want and the reason they hold out on updating their TVs is YouTube ad free. So basically it just plays YouTube videos and it gets rid of all the ads. There are other things like OTT play. This is supposed to be an IPTV player. I've not actually managed to get that working um, no matter what I try. And you've got various other ones. Now by default, once you actually install Homebrew using that particular website, you don't actually have all of these apps. I think you only get about eight of these. In order to add more apps, what you need to do is install another repo. Now to install a repo, all you do is you come to this settings cog here, you click on that, and then where it says add repository, you just click on that and then you add in whichever repository you want to add. Once you've added it, it will appear here. And if you ever want to remove the repository, you can just hit the, the bin icon there and it will get rid of it. This particular one is the only other one that I could actually find for the LG sort of content store type apps. And basically that's what I've installed just to test that the process does work. I'm sure if you wanted to actually search the net, you would be able to find alternative uh, repositories that will have other apps, anything that you, you might be looking for. Uh, in this particular instance, all I was testing it for was to see whether the YouTube ad free did actually work. And for, from what I've tested, it does. You do have to remove the original app first, and then it is exactly the same as basically installing it from the LG content store. So all you do is you come in here and right now it says launch, but originally it will say if we just come back out and I'll just go into a different one. So if we just come into here, as you can see, it just says install, you hit install, and then once it's installed, then it'll give you the option to launch. So you do have all of these various different apps, and I don't know whether these change from time to time, but these are generally the same sort of ones that will appear. So yeah, this was just a quick video in terms of giving you a alternate option to the LG content store. If you're not happy with the apps that actually appear in the LG content store, maybe you might find something here that you can install that is better suited to what you wanted to use it for. If you do have any questions, drop them down in the comments section below. I will link a article down below where I actually originally found this, so I'm, I'm not taking credit for this. Um, this is something that somebody actually posted in one of the comments on one of my other videos. And because I was curious as to whether it did actually still work on the very latest firmware, and just to confirm the firmware that I'm actually running on this particular set. So this is a LG C9 
and if we come down to general and then come down to about as you can see I'm running the very latest version 5.20.09 so this is the very latest version and this particular method still works perfectly fine so as I say if you do have any questions drop them down in the comment section below I'd really appreciate if you do like and share this video just to help other people out there that might be interested as well if you haven't already done so please do subscribe and hit the notification bell for any future videos and until the next one thanks very much for watching